Let's start at the beginning. You have just arrived in Marshalltown, Iowa. You have either recently landed at our airport or have arrived in an automobile of some sort. If you plan on staying overnight, it's probably a good idea to find a place to sleep. In Marshalltown, there are options. Marshalltown has many different hotels for you to choose from where you would enjoy your stay, ranging from the fairly cheap to the more expensive. Marshalltown also has a campground where one can pitch a tent or park an RV. This campground is only open during certain times of the year, however. Sometimes the park can fill up by advanced booking, so make sure you do the same on the state's website. Or you can just try your luck and see what you get. If you flew into Marshalltown, came here by Burlington Trailways bus line, or some other method, and it leaves you without a vehicle to drive to those overnight spots, do not fret. Marshalltown has options. Either the local taxi cabs or the city bus will get you to where you need to go. Use whichever method fits your unique circumstance. Content about these services is just a simple Google or phone book search away. N now that you have figured out where you will be spending the night, what are you going to do the rest of the day? Marshalltown has events going on all the time. It really just depends on what time of the year it is. Parades, car shows, and the state barbecue championship tend to take place during the warmer months of summer and early fall. Just like our impressive fireworks display for the 4th of July. Winter and early spring tend to drive most of Marshalltown's inhabitants indoors as conditions around here can get downright outrageous. Indoors, Marshalltown inhabitants can be found at pancake breakfasts, wild game feeds, or shopping in the mall. If you want to know what is going on in Marshalltown while you are here, just pick up the local newspaper, perform a simple Google search, or ask the attendant at the nearest gas station. Let's say that you are the more hands-on type and would rather see what Marshalltown has to offer outdoors. Marshalltown has many sites and activities just for you. Marshalltown is bordered by the Iowa River, which offers anglers of all seriousness levels hours of entertainment. To get yourself involved in this scene, stop into our local bait store on the north side of town and ask them what's been biting. Swimming, tubing, and jumping off the Center Street Viaduct into the river can and does go on. However, these activities are full of danger, with injuries and even a few fatalities being reported, so they are generally not advised. Another activity seen near the Iowa River is hunting. Marshalltown is home to tracts of land designated for public use and people sporting compound bows or photography equipment can be seen in these areas. Do you like to work up a sweat? Look no further than a local YMCA. It was built in 2004 and houses some of the most state-of-the-art equipment to work your body into shape. On any given day, you can find many of Marshalltown's residents working on their physique in this establishment and then showing it off at the aquatic center right next door. Here, you can splish splash your day away safely. Unlike the whole swimming in the river idea. Maybe taking in scenic views is more your thing. Well, Marshalltown is home to 8.2 miles of bike and walking trails with so much scenery, you and your dog are sure to be delighted. Then, there's the Marshalltown Veterans Home. It's always pointed to as something that must be seen by out-of-towners. It is home to many of our state's veterans, including quite a few that have passed on already. Out-of-towners always comment on the five to 600 block of West Main Street. I have been seeing it for years and it still impresses me when I drive by. Many of these houses were built over 100 years ago and their design and construction is a testament to this. Well, it's been a long day and I'll bet you're getting hungry. Marshalltown has many places for you to take care of your stomach pangs. For those on a budget or those that would rather make their own food, Marshalltown has grocery stores. At least five, with two of those being Hispanic owned and themed. Or there's the restaurants in Marshalltown. From your franchise fast food to family owned fine dining, Marshalltown has it all and everything in between. For those hankering for a delicious burrito, I'd recommend the taco stand next to family video. 
As far as restaurants, a simple Google search or glance through the phone book will tell you what you need to know. And with many of these restaurants offering delivery service, why waste time driving around when you can just order in? The day is getting late and your belly is full. As far as nightlife is concerned, what do you do now? Well, Marshalltown is home to two movie theaters, with one of them playing only classic movies from days long ago. And then there's the bar scene. Marshalltown boasts well over 20 alcohol establishments that will kindly pour you a drink, as long as you don't light up a cigarette as it is against state law. Just make sure to use good judgment and don't drink to excess as you don't want to end up in our relatively new jail. If gambling is more your thing, call up the Casino Shuttle. Just 20 minutes east of Marshalltown is Meskwaki Bingo Casino Hotel. Being home to Iowa's most highest paying out slot machines, who knows what you could leave with? It's been a long day. Time for some sleep. Tomorrow, Cecil's for breakfast and make sure to ask the waitress what's going on in Marshalltown so you can plan your day accordingly.